do an update kind of what we've done today. I know I've kind of vlogged haphazardly throughout the day, um, but for one, this is uh, day two, I guess you'd say. Well, not our day one of driving. And so day two was really our Magic Kingdom day. This is day three of our vacation, uh, which was Hollywood Studios Day. So our goal was to get up there and get there by park opening at 6 a.m. And it was really, really close, but not quite. And there has been just a crowd of people. So we waited, for, like Sean waited for like an hour and 10 minutes for Smuggler's Run. And then like an, about an hour, or maybe about 45 minutes to an hour um, with Slinky Dog Dash. Um, so as far as the attractions we got to do today, we got to do Smuggler's Run, we did um, Slinky Dog Dash. While Sean was riding Slinky Dog Dash, I took Blakely and did the um, Aliens Whirling Saucers and the Midway Mania. Um, and then we kind of looked at some characters, but we didn't get to actually get any lines. We then um, went to the Droid Depot and built our droid that we were going to buy. Well, Sean did, Sean Caitlin did. Um, and then we walked all the way around Star Wars Galaxy's Edge and walked all the way around Toy Story Land to really get a chance to look at all that. Um, then after that, we then headed out and we were going to come straight back to the hotel. So it was about noon or a little bit after that. Oh, and we did eat at Ronto Roasters um, as well as at the Docking Bay 7 or I don't, I don't know what it's called. Um, but that is where we got the kids stuff. Uh, the Ronto Roaster, that was pretty good. Um, so we ate lunch, early lunch there. Um, so then we came, we were to come straight back here, but instead we actually saw the Skyliner was working and we really wanted to try the Skyliner. So we went ahead and rode the Skyliner over to Caribbean Beach and then caught it from there to Epcot. And we were like, oh, we'll just catch the bus from Epcot to Riverside. Well, the problem is the Skyliner, of course, as we already know, drops you off at International Gateway. So they do have bus uh, boats there, but they have boats only to like the boardwalk area type resorts. So we ended up just going in Epcot. So we technically have already been to Epcot as well today. Um, and we went ahead and met Minnie Mouse, which is great. Minnie Mouse was there while we were trying to get through and the bag checks have just been really, really, like really, really busy today. Um, so he went ahead and got in line and I was able to hustle up and he was able, to, they were able to meet the kids meet Minnie Mouse and get her autograph and everything um, before, right as I got through with my bag check. So then we went through um, just straight from there to the exit and then came on to Riverside. So we're gonna actually make a, it's only a 10 minute walk from here, which is great. So I think tomorrow our plan is when we come back during the middle of the day, we're gonna to try to go over to the French Quarter pool and maybe try to get some beignets too, because I absolutely love that. So next thing on the agenda is it's a, almost getting close to 3.30 and our goal is to leave here by 3.30 um, because we have dining reservations at 4.30 uh, for Hollywood and Vine uh, where they have the character dinner, like buffet, I think it's a buffet, and then it has the Fantasmic um, fast pass with it so that way we can actually watch Fantastic. I haven't seen it in forever and hanging out there waiting for it in line with kids. And I know it's been kind of crazy with the amount of crowds and everything today so I'm sure that will be beyond um, busy so we're gonna do that and we're gonna hit a few of the things we didn't get a chance to hit maybe see some characters. We'll check in with you a little bit later. Disney Skyliner and Disney's Hollywood Studios. We are on our way to Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort with connecting flights to Epcot International Gateway, Disney's Pop Century Resort, and Disney's Art of Animation Resort. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed your visit to Hollywood today. Now wave goodbye to your adoring fans below. Bye! I can't believe that we're getting to ride the Skyliner. It's actually open. And Blakely, you like it, right Blakely? It is cool. Isn't yeah. It? And that breeze. Nice. Style up in Caribbean Island. You see the Epcot ball, Caitlin? Turn around. You see the Epcot? See the big ball? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's Riviera right there. Blakely, stay over there, honey. You don't have to leave yet. You say bye, Mimi? Bye, Mimi. Bye, Goofy.
Hi, Donald. So we just got done with Hollywood and, well, Halloween and Dine. It was such a good dinner, right, Caitlin? Yeah! Yeah, so we got to meet, who will we meet, Caitlin? And Daisy, oh, I've gone off of here. Yeah, Donald and Daisy. Yeah, we got to meet all of those. The only one we didn't get to meet is Pluto, but he's right over there, so we're gonna try to hit him after the show. So right now we're gonna try to hit the last one of the dance party, the Disney Junior dance party, which is at 5.45, I think. And so we're gonna go do that one, and then we'll hit Pluto hopefully afterwards. So I don't know what we're gonna do then afterwards, um, but we do have Fantasmic later tonight that was with our dining reservation. Um, so it was a little expensive, but we have that in Super Canteen last night. And then coming up soon, we'll have the Royal Table in Cinderella. So we have definitely kind of splurging a little bit, but then the rest of the time it's gonna be quick service. So we did, did you enjoy your dinner, Blakey? Yeah, pretty good. Who'd you like to see? Who'd you see? <laughs> did you see Mimi Mouse? Say Mimi Mouse. Mimi Mouse, yeah. It was awesome, huh? So now we're gonna go dance. You wanna go dance? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Get a picture. Thank you, picture time. Caitlin, on this side. Yeah, you wanna give her a hug? Oh, cute. Wow. You know what are you going, Caitlin? I know. Say hi to BB-8. I know, BB-8 says he likes your little droid there, sweetheart. Go on up, Blakely. You, know, you guys can get close, trust me, he doesn't bite. Do you guys want to know a secret about BB-8? Blakely, do you want to know a secret? BB-8 is super ticklish. Do you want to try giving him a tickle? Do you want to try it here? Do you want to try it, little one? Here, we'll practice, okay? Three, two, one. Tickle, 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 tickle. Look, he's laughing. Do you want to try it? Okay, three, two, one. Oh, oh my goodness. He's laughing. Good job, guys. Wow. Do you want to try it? You want to tickle him, Bakley? Can you give me the eight tickles? Uh, no. Okay, yeah. Good job. All right. Say thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh.
very busy place. Um, so after we had our dinner, which absolutely Hollywood and Vine, like character dining, was amazing. Super, super loved it. Now do realize for family of four, which one technically was free, cost us $150. So my word, was it expensive? Um, so yeah, but it was so good. The characters came by so quick. The characters we got to meet was Minnie at the front. And then we met Mickey, Donald, Daisy, and Goofy. Um, after that, we went over to do the Disney Junior dance party. That was kind of like, it was okay. Like, it was kind of interactive. If you have kids between the ages of, let's say, even three and six, they'll enjoy it. But anything other than that, younger than three, they don't really get it. And then over six, they're bored. So, and just if you can get there early, that way you can maybe get a seat. There's only about 12 seats in the entire thing. Um, if you did the Disney Junior party beforehand, you have seen that's how that is. Um, but it is still kind of cute, and my kids really enjoyed it because they're in kind of in that wheelhouse. Um, so they kind of enjoyed it, but not for very much longer. Afterwards, like, we did some meet and greet with characters because everything in this park is like an hour wait. Uh, yeah, so um, we decided to meet and greet. So we did Pluto because Caitlin really wanted that. And then we did Dot McSuffins, and she happened to get to see Vampirina, but she didn't get a chance to get an autograph because she was on the way out. But she at least got to give her a hug, so that's great. Um, we then went over, and then they were closing that at 6.30. We then went over to the launch bay and got to meet BB-8. Um, now, all the ones in Star Wars launch bay do not do autographs, so I am gonna still do BB-8 picture in the album, but just not like have an autograph there because I just don't do autographs. Um, yeah, so uh, we met BB-8 and looked around the launch bay, it's really cool, and then we looked at the Little Mermaid gift shop, she really wanted to. We were gonna go to Muppet Vision 3D, kind of ran out of time. We did walk through Manisaburg, um, which is the new Incredibles like meet and greet area. They had already closed for the day, um, but it's pretty cool to kind of see that all but kind of felt like a filler to me so hopefully they'll do something else with that then we went to our fantastic fast pass, uh, fast pass. i have not been to fantastic in such a long time i've only seen it like twice anyways i absolutely love that show i know it's a hassle and ordeal to get to go to it but if you've never done it you've got to do it um little disclaimer though if you have kids under the age of five um they just have some scary parts to it so just be aware of that be um maybe talk to kids before and that kind of stuff. We've got some like serious focus issues. There we go. Uh, yeah, so fantastic. Super, super amazing. Even my two-year-old though, after I kind of consoled her a little bit, she wasn't too scared. Uh, Sarah, um, Caitlin and Sean are riding it, and then I'm going to do the um, rider swap. So probably Caitlin won't ride again, I imagine, because it's kind of a scary ride. Even though she technically is only five, she is tall enough to this ride, which is kind of crazy. Um, so yeah, so we're in the gift shop right now, because it's the only place that's halfway lit. Hopefully I'll see them when they walk out. Hopefully they'll see me. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so after, then I ride Tower of Hotel, Tower of Terror, hopefully. Um, we're then going to go watch at 10 o'clock for the Star Wars fireworks. So you never have to see. So hopefully we'll get a chance to go see that. I don't know if Blakely's gonna make it. Um, she may be asleep for then. No, I may be asleep. And this has been a long day. So make sure you like and subscribe so you never miss an episode. Um, and God bless, be adventurous, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.